Oh, hello. Do you believe in miracles? What exactly is a miracle? Are miracles compatible with science? Is science compatible with miracles? Maybe miracles are just fakery. Maybe faith healers are just showmen. Oh, that's from my personal collection. Most of us, when we think of a miracle, think of something huge, like for example, the parting of the Red Sea. Or in my own life, I have to say 1986, Miracle Mets, Buckner. This was a miracle. Trust me, I'm a Mets fan. Then, you know, sometimes you might think of something even bigger, like this. And if you don't think that's impressive, what about this? Yeah, that actually happened, folks. Speaking of books, I just wrote a book on the subject of miracles. In a way, it's two books in one. Half of the book is miracle stories, and I mean true stories that happen either to me or to people that I know personally. And if these stories don't freak you out, you're not reading carefully enough. It's kind of like a Chris Angel mind freak thing where you sort of scream and freak out because it doesn't make any sense what's happening. The other half of the book really is about the skeptical side, trying to understand the compatibility of faith and science, very important, and then trying to understand is the existence of us on Earth a miracle? One thing that absolutely blew my mind more than I think anything in the book is the creation of the moon. Science tells us that 4.25 billion years ago, a body about the size of Mars collided with what was the Earth then in such a perfect way. It's like two people shooting bullets across the Grand Canyon and the bullet hitting dead on with the other bullet absolutely so perfectly that they drop out of sight to the canyon below. It's only because of this that life exists today. So that's the question. Meaning. Do our lives have meaning? For me, ultimately, this is a very personal book because I'm thinking about the meaning of my own life. Does my life have meaning? I think about my mom, the love I have for my mom, my dad. I was born in New York. Did my parents meet in New York? Was that just an accident? I think about getting married. The love that we have for our spouses. Life, is it just random? Or was somehow God in that? I think about having a child. Is there something transcendent in the love that we have for those people in our lives? For me, those are the questions, and that's the ultimate question. What if you could know and get signs along the way that God is really out there and trying to communicate with us? I want people to know that this isn't, this isn't something I wrote for me. This is for other people, for you, to get you thinking about these ultimate questions. That's why I wrote this book.